Going down with Chris Search following a uh, bank holiday defeat to Chelmsford here at, at the Melbourne Stadium. Searchy, just give us your reflections and, and thoughts on, on a pretty disappointing afternoon. Yeah, not good enough, mate. Simple as that. Um, awful goal to concede. Like, it's just it's, it's woeful. Um, and you know, I said on, uh, I said after the game at Ebbsfleet, we're coming to a team that I think was the, the best defensive record in the league last year. So you give them a give them a goal like we did today, gift them a goal. Um, you, you got you got uphill battle. It's, it's again back to that word naive, and it was it was absolutely awful today from uh, in the first half. If we'd come in four four nil down, their keeper didn't have a finger there. If we come in four nil down at half time, I got no qualms, no complaints. Um, we started the game brightly. I thought it was the better side for 15 minutes until they scored, and then from then on, you know, we, we had our spells. But they had the chances. They had the best chances by by a country mark, and it's just uh, it's, it's poor from us. And the boys need to start owning it and taking responsibility. And they've been told, and uh, you know, it's frustrating for us. Um, you know, we, we 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 we're trying to trying to stop the rot a little bit. You know, three games now. Um, Two not uh, two clean sheets, uh, two games not scored, and, and, and three get three losses on the bound. So it's uh, it's pissing me off if I'm honest. So it's something that we need to alleviate. We start with training tomorrow night. The boys will be in. They'll be working hard and they'll be put through their paces. But you know, I can uh, I, at the moment I'm a little bit uh, lost for words. Second half huffed and puffed. I think is the is a sort of uh, analogy I'd say. You know, we we were we were improved. But unfortunately, mate, if we're going to keep turning up and playing for 45 minutes, as, as we have done uh, a few times this season and numerous times last year, we had good 45 minutes followed up by a bad 45, you're going to come away with nothing. And, and rightly so today, Chelmsford were the better side. Credit to Robbie and, and, and Mickey. Um, you know, as I said, they, they before I get on the Ebbs Fleet game, they've started here brilliantly. So credit to them what they're achieving and what they're doing. Massive, uh, massive improvement from last year and, and well done to them on a, on a deserved victory. Obviously, you, you touched on uh, this point of conceding again relatively early on. I think it was about 10, 15 minutes in. I can't really remember. Um, but then I felt after that, Melvin was asked to carry out quite a few saves, maybe let down by the, the ten or so in front of him. I was always told the goalkeeper it's, it's got to pass ten people before he gets to, to you, and he's pulled off a few saves to keep yeah, it at one Mel, today. Mel, hasn't Mel, he? Mel's earned his money today, and, and that's that's Melv, you know, and that's, it's, it's the way it is. And it's not ideal that he's had to do the saves he's done, but he, he's 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 done the saves and. You know, and, and fair play to him for that. Um, for me, as you say, it's the players in front that are probably letting down. I, I couldn't fault Melv today. You know, we're just not locking in with runners. We're not doing the non-negotiables, things that are expected of footballers. We are not. We're not doing well enough, mate. You know, I thought. I thought defensively we were a little bit better centrally today. I thought Jack and Jack and Teddy done quite well. Um, I think just the, just the midfield and the players around him. We're just we're just not close enough. We're not tight enough, and we're not uh, we're not locking in, mate. And as a consequence, you're going to get punished at this level. You know, the first goal, or the, the goal they scored. You know, we're just we're just too naive and too weak around it. You know, miss out on the first contour on a tackle. They break, and then and it's sort of a p-roller into the corner. It's a good finish from the lad, but you know, it's, it's we've got to do better. It's really frustrating. Obviously, second half though, it's going to be huffed and puffed. We've Blanche hit the bar early doors, and obviously that would have changed the game. We've had a deflected shot on the bar. You know, Nana's gone close as well. It just, you know, like you said, the second 45 a lot better yeah. than the first. But it just felt like one of those days that we weren't weren't going to hit the target. No, really mate, well. but they, they, both chances were never going in. You know, they're, they're, not, they're never going in. You know, they're, they're, it's floated onto the crossbar, and the other one's floated onto the crossbar. So, yeah, I've got no complaints with the result today. You know, the boys, the boys did work hard. I've got no qualms. The stats will show that they they they, they worked hard. We need to hit better areas, you know. We 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 we, we duff hooking um, clearances into the centre of the park. We've got to hit, hit the channels, hit with distance, under hitting things. You know, it's just it's just basic football that you've got to get the ugly bits that you've got to do at this level. That you you do do better, you'll get better rewards. But today was just a, a bad a bad day all round in terms of that. You know, we wasn't hitting the right areas. We wasn't hitting it with quality. Um, as I say, we huffed and puffed, and the stats, as I say, running stats will prove that we worked hard. But at the end of the day, we, we needed to show a little bit of quality in the final third, and, and, and we come up short. You feel like as well, see, when you're chasing a leveller, you tend to, to go long ball, and obviously when they've got such a, a big team, that, that one didn't really work for us today, did it? Yeah I, yeah, I think the long ball, I think it's, as I say, it's all right saying about going long ball. I think it's about going long ball with with a bit of quality into the flanks, into the channels, you know, putting it in behind their fullbacks. We wanted to isolate Nana one on one with a with a uh, Ochiang uh, their their centre mid who's playing at right back. First half we've done it quite well. Second half non-existent. We didn't stick to a game plan, you know. Nana I thought was our out ball could have been a match winner. 
but you know we, we didn't get the ball to him enough and to be fair to them as I said they they, they, they deserve, the, deserve the victory today. And obviously we never usually touch on officiating because I think it's you know it's obviously an unfair thing to you know we didn't lose because of poor refereeing and poor linesman in today but no. that was you know Oh yeah, I've got listen. I've got no complaints about um, losing today. You know, it's absolutely nothing to do with the ref. But it's, it's it's week in week out. The level is just, in all honesty, and they, they can fire me. They can do what they like. The, the level is just not acceptable. It's, it's really poor. Um, we had what we were a match official on Saturday. I don't think we managed the game properly, uh, and the, and, and the, the management of the game today I didn't think was, was very good at all. You know, making decisions in, in hindsight after the event, the, 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 the actual event happens. A few a few murmurs, and it's for both teams. You know, I'm not I'm not complaining for. Us. The same with them, you know. Speaking to Mickey, speaking to Robbie, you know, they've had exactly the same. He's, he's, he's baffled where they get these, where they get these decisions from, and how they come to the conclusion of the decision they come to is, is, is mind-boggling. You know, a lad gets pushed into into the railings. The referee doesn't do a thing. A little bit of hustle and puzzle and a little bit of moaning. All of a sudden, it's a it's a foul and a, it's a booking. You know, like the ref needs to needs to take accountability of what he's doing and, and justify it to us. You can't you can't even talk to him. You know, during the match, you, you get shouted and screamed at to the extent that even at half time, I get an apology from the official because he speaks to me too aggressively. But it's it's it's, it's really frustrating me. And you know, as I say, it's something I've never moaned about the refs before because I've never really been asked about it. But if you speak to any manager probably at this level, they'll come up with the same conclusion. You know, it's it's just uh, it's poor. We'll let them move the dugout. <laughs> I suppose that's the uh, cons of having your stadium yeah, at Athletic no, track. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Obviously, then you, you spoke off camera, lads back in training tomorrow, yeah, recovery absolutely. session, or. No, no, they're getting worked. There's no, 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 no doubt about it, mate. There's no shirking from us. Some boys might want to recover. If they want to recover, then they, 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 can, they can move on. Um, it's, we, we, need to, we need to work through this, work hard through this. We, we don't have days off. Me, Greeny, Shippo, Leachy's loading up the car this morning, you know, like filling his car up to bring the stuff here. Got a goalkeeper coach travelling in from, from, from Dartford. You know, it's non-stop, non-stop work My from taxes. us. So the boys need to take accountability, you know, I'll back them to the hilt and they know that, but sometimes the buck's got to stop with them boys and it's now over to them to, to show a bit of a reaction. As I said, you know, we asked for a reaction after the Oxford game, um, you know, against Ebbsfleet, didn't get it for 45, got it slightly better for the, for the second half and today again, poor first half, you lost the game really first half, you know, as simple as that, you know, lost conceding as we've done, could have been more as I've, as I've, as I've elaborated on earlier. And then you give yourself a mountain to climb. So absolutely, they're working tomorrow. They'll be in working hard, and and we'll work through this um, and, and make sure that we're ready for for me, which is as it today was a must win. Brain is like an absolute must win now. This like it's a non-negotiable for us. You know, we're going there. I'm going there with the intention, full intention of winning. Otherwise, you know, our, our season will start unraveling very quickly. Yeah. Perfect, Sir Chi, We'll leave it there. Thanks, Thanks very much for joining us. I know it's probably been Thank you. the best afternoon. Thanks.